to be. Well, in the modern NBA, Kevin, you know this as well as I do. You've got to have perimeter threats, and if you play him at the three, it can put you at a real disadvantage. Now, here's Diaz. He's guarded by Stevenson. The question is, did he go two for one here? Can they get a good shot in time? That's the question. And that one's good. And seven points for Josh Smith. And another three-pointer to their second half total. Yeah, they caught that long-range bug at halftime, and it's been bombs away ever since. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. That's fouling there to prevent that layup, forcing two free throws to Nice job that time of attacking the paint and drawing the contact. They'll take that. It's Crawford on the way. Davis setting the pick for Crawford. And he dunks it down. Basketball 101, guys. I mean, elementary. Use the screen to free yourself and then take it straight to the rack. Yeah, very nice set player for it. Well, that's using your head and using your body. Well, through three quarters of play. State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, let's do it. I, I love the way this play developed. I think this offense really thrives off of plays like that. Turned it into an easy basket. Los Angeles leading by 10. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. In the backcourt, Parker and Ginobili. Duncan out there at West, and it's Diaw in it for three. Jordan's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Los Angeles. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Here's Pierce. Hot. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That foul gives him four, so he's just two away from being Dairy Queen. Spurs making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Parker passes to Ginobili. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And it's nine points for Mono Ginobili. Leonard against Griffin. Ball outside. From 13, and the jumper is on the mark. Paul's got the lead at the 12 down for Los Angeles. They're going to have to tighten up defensively, guys, because they're really giving up way too many open looks. A shot by Jordan, no good. You know, that's a problem he has. I mean, not being able to knock down that open jumper. I think it happens far too often. West kicks to Leonard, down low. Romano <laughs> Ginobili again! And now both of these clubs really in a groove here. Already a high-scoring game, but it has become an offensive showcase down the stretch. There's Crawford with the three, and again, it's the Clippers from deep. This guy knows how to get it done. He knows what he's doing out there. A nice job from the three-point line this half. Well, Jamal Crawford has proven that no matter what role he plays, he just called him Buck. He can flat out put the ball in the basket. You gotta give him a lot of credit, though. He does change his game quite a bit, depending on if he's coming off the bench or starting. I think that speaks to his IQ. Miller's checked in for Jamal Crawford. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Aldridge has checked in. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He told him, no holding back. I want one Thanks for that story, Doris. And as you said with Jamal, a lot of players can't really make that change between a quarter or a sub, but he does it so smoothly in such short time, it really adds a lot of utility to his team. That one's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Parker. Always going for the NBA here, and the dunk by Jordan. Sequence. No part. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley. -oop. Yeah, that just added more to it. Yeah, what a beautiful connection on that play. And the shot is good. 
Well, Crawford described the perfect for Clark when he said as a 16, you have to come in and force yourself into the game. As a starter, the pressure isn't there as much as you can go with the floor. Yeah, players like him can often do one or the other. Come in firing off the bench or let the game come to you. But rarely can they assess what the team needs like Crawford does and adjust on the fly so smooth. Leonard attacking. Here's Duncan. And they have their chances. Two offensive rebounds. But they still come up empty. And the wide open shot from Griffin. And he didn't get quite enough under that one. Spurs trail by 13. Let's it go from 14. And that one's good. 12 points for Kawhi Leonard. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Los Angeles has gotten off to a great start from three-point range in the final quarter to a perfect three of three. What is insane about the Spurs and how successful they are as a franchise is that in their entire franchise history, they've only missed the playoffs four times. That is absolutely remarkable. And with the Spurs in the playoffs, you can't even begin to think about a postseason without the Spurs being involved. Only four absences since 1976. That's incredible. Los Angeles leading by 13. Miller with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. Marcus Aldridge grabs the miss. For San Antonio, they've gone 7 of 10 shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Miller gets to Pierce. That's in, coming off an assist for Miller. Miller's got three assists now in this one. Of course, with the Spurs, the last time they missed the playoffs, they took the draft from the best power forwards of all time in Tim Duncan. Well, you know, he's a part of why they haven't missed the playoffs since. But the organization has run really well from top to bottom. And they deserve nothing but the success they've had since their inception because of that. I love it when a player like this shakes off a poor first half and comes back strong like he has, showing a lot of confidence in his game. Pierce up again, and then Griffin with the dunk. And the Clippers lead by 14. Now that's no run of the mill put back there. What the rebound and then the dunk, one on top of the other. The one two punch, gotta love it. Called here, the Spurs decide to talk it over. You know, it took a little while, but at the Staples Center now, the team to fear is the Clippers. They were tough here at home last year. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Greg Popovich coaching his team during that last break. He told the team he wanted to run their offense through Parker. Coach emphasized getting him as many touches as possible, saying he is going to be one of the guys to carry us the rest of the way. He mentioned one more thing, which was that he'd like them to get out and run whenever they get their hands on the ball. Let's play this game at top speed. Those were his exact words. With the minutes ticking down and the deficit still a big one, those adjustments have to be a chance worth taking, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Well, guys, you were talking about with the Clippers. It wasn't that they would beat you here. Steve, they would blow you out here. Yeah, I mean, their average win margin here at home last year was almost double digits. I mean, think about that. Average, they would win by a blowout here in State. Here's wide open. He fires. And a great assist by Miller as that one goes in. Miller's got four assists now tonight. Duncan with the screen on Paul. That's a two from Parker. And too long on the shot. Clippers leading by 14. And it's Miller penetrating. Oh, oh, oh. Ridiculous. Tore it down that time. <laughs> well, what we saw here tonight is one team just had everything going forward, and the other did huge margin of victory for Los Angeles. Better shooting from the charity stripe was what made the difference, I think, Clark, in this one. And I think it was a matter of concentration, Kevin. They really locked in from the line. And now, for the year, this is going to take them to seven wins. Well, this win gives them a victory in round one of what's basically a four-game fight between these teams this season. And it will be a fight, Steve. When you see an opponent that many times, it's inevitable that those games take on a little extra meaning for the players. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Chris Paul. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see him being a part of it. He was all over this one. 
And now in transition is Mills. Here we go. They need this. And that one's good. That's a tougher shot than you hope for off a fast break. But you can't argue with the result. The Clippers shooting so far very efficient all around. About 55%. Griffin dishes to Smith. And the Clippers getting another bucket right there. They got to feel pretty good about this win tonight, guys, defending their home floor. Yeah, and just riding it out here now. See, they gave the fans what they wanted. It's interesting. They're like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got energy. You know, it's not going to change anything, though, other than to make their losing margin a little more respectable. Davis setting the pick for Griffin. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his fifth foul. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. Bellinelli with the three, and it's good. Now Rivers. Kicks it to Griffin. Count that one. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct 